She called me and said, Leonardo's not breathing. He's not breathing. You need to get here. A daycare tragedy that made headlines around the world just days before his second birthday, Leo Sanchez suffocated underneath a beanbag chair. All I could do was just pray. Instead of rushing to his side on that September morning, Leo's mom forced to wait for a ride. And I told her, my car was towed this morning. I don't have a car. The reason? Their registration had expired, leaving the Sanchez's questioning why someone besides the police can tow for expired tags. Who gave them the right to come onto this private property? Who gave them the right to tow our vehicle in our stall? The answer lies in their rental agreement, which states, no inoperable or unregistered vehicles may be parked on the premises. The apartment community has legacy towing enforce that rule, which did issue a warning to get the car registered, something the couple said they were saving up for because of a pesky check engine light. This is our driveway. This is our community. This is like your driveway at home. But we need to make sure that uh, reason and common sense prevails in this regard. Representative Kevin Stratton says Utah law allows landlords to set and enforce parking rules. Expired plates is normally a government matter, he says, that is currently being delegated to non-law enforcement folks. While agreeing that apartment complexes don't want unsightly junk cars in their lots, Stratton worries about the unintended consequences. The cost of getting the car out of being impounded and so forth can be greater than the cost to fix it and get it registered. Thinking about it. It brings tears to my eyes. Back on that fateful day, the family's victim advocate learned what happened and quickly called the tow truck company. They need to get to Primary Children's Hospital. Um, without a car, they don't have a way. Veronica Bustillo says she asked the tow truck company for a favor, release the car immediately while she worked to get the money from a victim's assistance fund. She hangs up on me. And I was shocked that somebody could just hang up on me like that. When that didn't work, she says a police officer tried a second time. I, I don't believe anything that you guys are saying. He's like, this is really the police. And she, he tried to tell them what was going on, and she hung up on him. Legacy Towing denies hanging up, saying in a statement that the operator couldn't confirm that it really was a police officer and received little feedback and rather aggressive and unprofessional demands. The statement went on to explain that our representatives receive several calls a week from vehicle owners making false statements. I'm sure they've heard every story in the book, but I wasn't one of them. Two days and many phone calls later, Bustillo's got the news she'd been waiting for. The property manager arranged for the car to be released for free, but the experience has her calling for change. A bunch of us need to get together, go over to the legislative offices, start making a change. I don't think it's, it's fair, especially if it's in my parking spot. Yeah, his funeral was um, on his birthday. Healing from tragedy is no easy task. I understand they're doing their job, but have a little bit of decency to help people. But despite the frustration and pain, the Sanchez's want people to learn one important lesson. But yeah, just love your kids. Hug your kids, because you never know what's going to happen next.